us. What we typically do is find an excuse, find someone to blame, find a technicality to lean on, find a loophole to jump through. How human of you. <laughs> You're like someone who has inherited a mansion with a basement that was empty and vacant. And going to the basement one time, having never returned back up the stairs, you have limited yourself to the darkness, judging the entire house based off of your incomplete assessment. You never finished the tour. You were born in this darkness that you were supposed to put away and grow out of. But you have extended such darkness into your latter years. The societal standards and status quo is the American dream, and that is the basement. It is the illusionary aim of those driven by their imaginations up walls into disease and ultimately into death. That imaginary finish line that you've been trying to reach, that they keep moving on you. And even when I say they, who is they? Because it's you that's been moving it on you. Because you be entertaining the status quos and the societal marks and what the government is talking about and what CNN is reporting and what WFTV got going on and what they talking about on the campus in the newsletter. You, you be all over the place keeping up with all kind of stuff that doesn't even pertain to you, but you have to keep up with it because you're afraid of what the things around you will mean for you because you still don't know that the only determining factor in your experience in the physical is what's going on on the inside of you. It has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on around you. There have been people who have grown up in impoverished cities that have had to fight wars amongst those who look just like them with very little resources, very little to eat, and nowhere to go, no transportation. And they were able to rise from out of these situations into a better situation mentally that allowed for them to experience a different condition physically. And that same experience is available for you. Your situation is not so bad. I promise if you talk to a handful of people today, your bubble will be burst if you allowed it to be. But on a typical day, you don't allow for your bubble to be burst because you defend yourself against anything that opposes your perspective with your life. As if your life depended on it. You act like for someone else's assessment to be correct and yours to be erroneous would absolutely destroy you. Therefore, you set out to destroy everyone who tries to destroy your broken paradigm that you have a stronghold to. The same people that told you that you were, when you were little that you could be anything. But after judging you based on your childish inconsistencies and blunders, determined that some things were for you and some things simply were not. But this is not an assessment that they could astutely make. As you, just like them, are capable of anything you set your mind to. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. If you set your mind to accomplishing it successfully. And only you know what you are willing to give yourself to and the way that it takes for something to be completed successfully. The same people that told you that you can be anything, the same people that told you that you could be the president of the United States before Barack Obama ever was mentioned, the same people that told you not to. Listen, they're going to double back on you and using the same fear that they used to cultivate you as a young lad. They're going to direct you in a path not that most suits you, not most beneficial for you. One that is most comfortable for them. One that inspires or invokes the least amount of fear for them when they think on you.